Welcome to Connect, a podcast produced by the Carroll County Chamber of Commerce. I'm Ryan Owen, Director of Business Development and your host. Join us as we share stories from entrepreneurs and community leaders and learn more about what makes Carroll County a great place to live, work, and play. Welcome to our second episode of Connect, the Carroll County Chamber of Commerce podcast. JR and I are so glad you made the decision to listen in today, and we hope you'll enjoy the episode. Before we get started, I'd like to take a moment to thank our Forward Carroll investors. Without their support, programs like our podcast and the seminars and webinars we provide would not be possible. Today, I'd like to give a special thanks to Carroll EMC. The Carroll Electric Membership Cooperative is a not-for-profit, consumer-owned business that distributes electricity to about 52,000 residential, commercial, and industrial accounts. Carroll EMC's service area includes Carroll, Harrelson, Hurd, Paulding, Polk, Troop, and Floyd counties, all in western Georgia. Valuable, reliable, powerful. Carroll EMC. For more information on Carroll EMC, please visit their website at carolemc.com. Thank you so much for your support. Today we have with us Jonathan Drake from Red Cube Creative. Jonathan has been a great friend of the chamber and the community for um, a number of years now, and they have an exciting conference coming up in a couple of weeks, and we're going to talk about that. But first, I would like for you to tell us a little bit about your company for people who might not know about Red Cube Creative, and just tell us what, what you guys have going on over there. Well, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Episode number two, I feel very privileged to be the first guest that isn't someone in your office. So, um, yeah, so Red Cube Creative, we started about two and a half, three years ago now, um, me and my business partner, Brian Little. Uh, we actually had uh, two separate companies that we brought together under one name and one new brand. And uh, we've been going for about three years now. So our focus is uh, a lot of different things. We do website design, photography, video production, and graphic design. Uh, we do a little bit of marketing advertising stuff as well. So we're really kind of trying to be a one-stop shop for people. We've done a lot of work with small businesses, medium-sized businesses. We haven't done anything for Apple or Walmart yet, but that's okay. We'll get to that at some point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, our goal is just to really help people kind of take their online presence, their digital presence to the next level. And uh, we love uh, helping people in that way. So tell me about your background, like uh, you and your partners. Did you dream of being a web designer when you were growing up? How did you get into it? No, it was far from that. Um, uh, Brian actually has done a lot of hand modeling. Um, (laughs) So watches, uh, slings. Um, I've done a lot of knee uh, modeling. So like braces. Beautiful. I think I've seen your work. (laughs) Yeah. It's, it's been quite, uh, it was, it was, it was pretty popular back in the day. Uh, No, we, uh, we actually were both kind of uh, musically background. So uh, uh, both of us have like led worship at different churches uh, in the area and stuff like that. So, For me, music was kind of my thing that I thought, man, this is what I'm going to do forever. And then uh, I went to West Georgia, graduated in 2006 with a degree in mass communications and had started doing some video stuff when I was in high school. Really enjoyed that. Would stay up to all hours of the night learning, editing and stuff. And then uh, that kind of blossomed into I really enjoy graphic design, started doing photography. Then people started saying, hey we need website. Would you be willing to do that? I said, I don't know how to do that. And they said, well, we've got a whole lot of money that we'd like to give you if you knew how to do that. So, <laughs> so I was like, I should probably learn how to do this. So, uh, so that's really how it started. I started watching tutorials on YouTube as everybody does, I think nowadays. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's kind of how it started. So Brian was the same way he was, uh, video driven. And so we, when we got together, um, it was just like, Hey, let's put all these things together. And now we've got a team of probably, Four kind of four or five are, are steady people, and we've got probably ten different contractors that we use on a regular basis. That's great. Your work is awesome. I enjoy watching what you guys are doing and how you've grown over the last couple of years. You, uh, I did your, we did your ribbon cutting, I guess, yeah. um, about a little over a year ago. Yeah, we're no longer. Yeah, out, but thank you for coming yeah. and doing that. Yeah, yeah. that was awesome. We can <laughs> do another good. one in yeah, the new spot. So, it, but it's you've brought so much excitement to the community and what you're doing for small business. And you and I've talked a lot about your passion for small business and and helping small businesses to grow and prosper. Can you talk a little bit about? What, what you see um, your role in helping small businesses grow and uh, be stronger? Yeah. So I had no intentions of starting my own business. Like I had a good job, things were going well, and then one day just felt like there's something more to life than just punching the time clock every day, for me at least. And uh, I'm just wired, I think, a little bit differently in that way. I knew that 
I wanted to have a little bit more freedom and the, the chance to, there'd be really no uh, limits to where I could take something. And so my wife actually was the one that came to me one day and was like, you know, you should think about starting your own business. And at the time I said, doing what? I had no idea what she was even talking about. But she said, you know, do some of this stuff. I was working with a lot of churches at the time. And she said, do what you're doing for the churches, but do it for a lot of different people. And so I started going back to YouTube, started staying up. Um, we didn't have a kid or anything at this point. We'd just gotten married maybe two years in. Man, kids. Yeah, yeah, just take away all your free time. All. Love you, buddy. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day at school. And, uh, but we, so I just started staying up and, and learning these different things that I was passionate about and wanted to do. And that turned into now 11, 12 years of owning my own business. And then we started Red Cube. And for me, I think it's, um, I saw pretty quick success in my business because I kind of hit a niche that not a lot of people were doing. And so I want to see people that have a great product be able to really expand, grow as big as they want to be. And a lot of that, as you guys know, has really translated over to uh, your online presence. And so I think there's a lot of great people who've been in communities. We work with people who've been in communities for 100 years, but yet their online presence is just not there. And I hate to say it, but at some point, the trend will change. And if you're not online, if you're not doing some things online, then you're probably going to get left behind. Well, let me ask. I mean, we've had the internet, quote unquote, the internet for yeah. since like 1995, 1992, but really it, it started back in the 1960s. So we've had 25 years mm -hmm. where people could have gotten online. Why do you think people are hesitant to make the jump from good old customer retail stuff into online sales. Why do you think? I think it's because a lot of people are like, this is the way we've always done it and it's worked. And for a lot of people, like, I mean, there's, uh, I was talking with someone yesterday. Um, he works for uh, Gumbo's in Douglasville and he's one of the managers there. And he said, you know, there's a line of people outside their restaurant every single night before they even open. And for them, it's, it's almost like we don't even need anything because look at, we've got all these people, you know, lined up every single day. But I think, I think the uh, the biggest thing is there's got to be that just mindset kind of shift on seeing what's coming down the road. And for us, that's been a big thing is trying to see what's the next big thing. Because, you know, I, you could have never told me that, like, putting pictures on social media would be popular. Like, <laughs> I mean, I was I remember when Cats I, on the Internet yeah, yeah. Yeah. When, I first, when I first started, you know, on Instagram and I took my first, you know, picture of food. I love food. Mm -hmm. And I was taking pictures of food before that was even a before thing. Before it was a cool thing yeah. to do. Yeah, and, and people were like, what is this guy doing over What's here? What's wrong but, with him? But, <laughs> and that was before, like, you had a camera on your phone and all that. But I think that just trying to, those are the people that are, like, I think truly successful are the ones that can see what's the next trend coming. I'm, you know, I'm looking now, like, there's a lot of different, you know, there's just craziness happening in the world right now. And so people are leaving Facebook and these other platforms. They're getting on new platforms, and we're trying to even see what is going to be the next thing that you, we could potentially help push people to to be successful? So. Yeah, and one of the things that we've um, tried to look at as we've gone through the last year, and it's hard for me to believe that we've been in this pandemic and, and in this situation for a year, but, but one of the things that we've tried to look at is the, the things that have changed that have caused us to make changes to our business platform, to our um, to the, the way that we do business. And I think a lot of it was go going to change anyway. We were moving in that direction. I think the pandemic sped it up. Yep. Is, is moving to an online presence and having a website, do you think that's one of the things that has really sped up the need for that is the pandemic and the realization that there, there could be something that causes us to only be able to serve our customers online? Absolutely. Yeah, I think that was a huge thing, especially with restaurants, a lot of them having to close and now having to do either, you know, Grubhub or one of these other, you know, delivery services to only have takeout available. They're having to like figure out. And I saw restaurants in the community doing that. I saw how they were coming up with, you know, cool, innovative ideas. Uh, we did, we've done a lot of work with Butter Dutter. Um, shout out to those oh, guys. Butter, <laughs> please join the chamber, Butter Dutter. For, we love you. Thanks for making us uh, fatter. Mm. And why are you not members of the chamber yet? I'm super disappointed <clears throat> in you guys. We will be having a look, phone call hey, this afternoon. Hey, look, between me and my little girl, we will pay for your dues. I promise you I that. mean, come on, guys. It's, it's We have paid for your dues. How much <laughs> yeah. ice cream I bought over the, the last couple of years. It's but the uh, yeah. it's but so they, they, to me, I'm always giving them, uh, over this past year, I've probably get, given their example a hundred times because they took their little little travel, you know, van. Right. Uh, and they took it all over the community. Like, they're like, hey, we've got ice cream. And, and it's, to me, it's those kind of innovative ideas that have, you've seen people that, I mean, there's been a ton of people who've had to close up shop. And I think it's because 
they were trying to do what's always worked. And sometimes, especially in a pandemic, like you just got to come up with new, you know, fresh ideas. We were very fortunate. We actually did better this past year than we did the year before, which blew my mind because I was thinking, well, there's no way that we're going to do anything close to what we did in 2019. But I think people, there were, there were companies out there that were like, we have to keep pushing forward. We right. have to keep putting ourselves out there. We've got to have a better online presence. And I think that it has, it has shown some people like, okay, well, we need to probably, if we've got a product to sell, we've got to start selling it online because we may not, we may get closed down again or something may happen. So we've got to be able to adapt and do those kinds of things. Yeah, and that's one of the things that we have really focused on as we've moved forward was to have a, a toolkit, if you will, a resiliency toolkit, not necessarily to address a pandemic, but even if there is an, an accident or a natural disaster or someone gets ill so that you have something to fall back on. And I would hate for us to have gone through this entire process and, and have nothing to show for it at the end. So, so my hat's off to you guys for really being innovative and, and looking how you can help small businesses. And it's been um, really such a, an, an amazing um, journey to watch what our small businesses have done during this pandemic. And we have had some that have just they were able to turn that business plan around and pivot and, and do some really amazing things um, during the pandemic to help their businesses survive. And we're hearing stories over and over and over in this community of how they were able to, to, to make it. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the citizens of Carroll County, I think they really understood the importance of these small businesses and, and, and what, that's what gives us our, our uniqueness. And, and they've been able to, they've really supported small business, which makes me extremely happy to have seen the things that, we, um, that we've seen. But we, I, I could talk about this forever, but really why you came here today was to talk to us about your conference that you have coming up. Last year, we were fortunate enough to partner with you guys for your small business conference, which was an all-day event, and it was amazing. You guys did a great job with that. Thank and this you. year, you're taking it virtual. So yes. talk to us a little bit about your conference coming up on February 20th. Um, I think it will speak to a lot of, of our small businesses um, with the things that they're trying to accomplish. Yeah. So last year uh, it was it was a great time. Uh, had uh, a chance to meet a lot of new people from the community that I had not been able to uh, um, meet before. And so this year we are we're going to just keep it a little more simple. I know that you know it's just difficult for people to get out and schedules are crazy and all that good stuff, but. We are on February 25th. We we were trying to decide nighttime, daytime. We're going to do it at 3 p.m. just in the middle of the day or afternoon. And and uh, it's going to be completely focused on websites. So if you have a website and it is terrible, which it probably <laughs> is, no offense, uh, but uh, we are going to give tips and tricks on how you can make it a little bit better. Uh, the thing I'm most excited about is I'm going to be reviewing people's websites live. Ooh. Wow. So if people want to get on in the chat, they can give me their website address. I'm going to actually pull it up on a screen that you will be able to see because we're going to shoot this whole thing live. Uh, and, and then we will actually go through the website together. So... Don't get your feelings hurt. I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So we're going to find out who in our community is really brave. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's really it. Well, the cool thing was last year I did a website breakout at our conference, and uh, and I did the same thing. So I had probably 25 or 30 people in my breakout uh, class, and people were brave enough to give me their website. Awesome. And I, in a gracious way, trashed their websites <laughs> as best I could. And But the whole point of this is not to, like, make you feel bad. It's to give you some help and push you in the right direction so that you can have a better online presence, attract new customers, and have just a better overall feel. Well, at the end of the day, your goal is to make these businesses successful Absolutely. and give them the tools that they need. Yeah. And I think we all need creative criticism, yeah. um, probably in my case, more often than not. Yeah. But that's such a great program that you guys are offering. And now, is there a cost to this? this it's absolutely free. It's going to be just a Facebook Live event. We've got, uh, we just posted the, uh, the link yesterday. So, uh, go follow Red Cube Creative on Facebook and Instagram. We've got all the links there, and you can just say you're coming or not. Show up on the day of, click the live link, and we'll be ready to go. That is such a great gift to this community, and we are very pleased to be able to um, help you promote the event and really want to encourage folks to go on Facebook and, and like Red Cube and follow them. You can also visit the Carroll County Chamber Facebook page because we'll be promoting that as well. And it's a great a great service to have available for our um, for our businesses and for folks that are looking at opening a business or yep. starting a business. What a great thing to be able to do that on the front end rather than um, halfway through your uh, business uh 
profile to start doing that. So also we were talking earlier about the small business packages and you're yes. going to, you promised you would come back and talk more about I that, will. but kind of give us a teaser yeah, on some just, of the things your guys are offering just for small business. Just the overview of that. A, a couple years ago, we came up with this idea uh, for a small business package. And uh, there's a lot of businesses. We did a website this year for a company in Bowden that uh, they didn't have a website, period. So um, so we're trying to put together a package where you can get a brand new website, professional photography, and a short, quick little video promo all packaged together. And um, here's, here's the thing. We want to work with small businesses. Like, you know, if you come to us and say, hey, I've got 15 bucks to spend, you know, we may <laughs> come shoot some pictures with our iPhone or something. But, uh, but we want to try. They'll do a good job with it. They'll look great. They'll look no, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, and I don't have the newest iPhone, but it'll still look good. Um, but we're, we're trying to work with people of all budgets and, and help people out. We understand that, you know, it's been a crazy last year. And so even uh, we've done, you know, even like stretching up payments and stuff with businesses just to be able to help them and give them a great product that they're proud of. And that when people get on, they're like, oh, man, this is the type of company that I want to work with. So um, so small businesses just packages are just a you get a little bit of everything. So if you need a new website, want to tweak yours or you don't have a website at all. Give us a call. You can go to our website, redcube.co. We actually have a website, redcubesmallbusiness.com, that you can go to and check out some of the things that are there and see some of our websites that we have done for other people in the community. But it's going to be a great product. I think it's going to help a lot of people. That's that's fabulous that you guys are doing that. And I have to say, you taught me how to take videos and do nice photos with my iPhone. So shout out to you for doing that, which is hard to do. I'm not that creative. So well, I am so grateful that you were here and I hope you'll come back and Absolutely. tell us more. Please make sure you sign up for the uh, Red Cube Conference coming up on February 25th. It's going to be great. You'll learn a lot and you'll have a lot of fun. These guys are a lot of fun to, to talk to and hang out with. Uh, they make me laugh on a regular basis and um, I appreciate And this, I have to say, this was... Um, very difficult for me to do this uh, podcast with you. You guys have an amazing podcast and a great studio. And if you guys could see our studio, it's not a studio <laughs> at all. It's a repurposed office. It's an office. <laughs> yeah. I think it looks great. Yeah. yeah. Well, you would say that. You're very kind. Yeah. And this we, is why we don't have video because you don't want to see this, I promise. <laughs> no, that's okay. We're going to get some black light in here. <laughs> yeah. Get some red, blue, yeah. yellow signs going I here. See that. I'm going to dress up in a tuxedo every time. Yeah, I'm oh, not doing that. <laughs> I think we definitely moved to video if that happens. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're going to do better, but yeah, we just wanted to start somewhere. And our really the, the whole purpose of this is to help people get to know those in our in our community and to help small business and, and larger businesses. We're just here to, to serve the community in the best way that we can. And um, luckily, you can't see what our studio looks like. But I would encourage you to go on YouTube and, and check out Red Cube's um, podcast. They've interviewed some great people, including our good friend, Josh Engel. Josh who, Engel. Obviously, is not here today, He's so we're going to really um, rag on him for not being here to join. But I don't think oh, we invited no. him. So His time is that. coming. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you need to. You definitely need to go and watch that podcast. It was a lot of fun, and and most of our stuff that we talk about is just kind of random. Like it's outside the cube, is what we call it. So it's everything that's not media related. <laughs> so we're going to probably start doing a, a little bit more media driven kind of stuff in the future, but it's it's a good time. Well, we just want to have fun. At yeah, the absolutely. end of the day, we want to have fun and, and help the community. And I appreciate you being here. And I will talk, I will see you on Tuesday for a steering committee meeting yes. for our emerging leaders. And we'll talk about that coming up in a couple of episodes when we have more to talk about. But thank you so much for being here. We appreciate Absolutely. it. And I want to remind you of our loving local campaign that's going on. It's a Facebook campaign where we are spotlighting some of our local businesses and remind you to support local and shop local and um, just keep keep all of your, your money and your time here in Carroll County. There's so many things that we have to offer from shopping to restaurants to fun things to do with your family family. So remember, just um, support local. And Jonathan, thank you so much for being here today. Thank and I'll look forward to you coming back and talking to us about your small business packages. That sounds good. Thanks, Thanks so much. See you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.